Department of Veterans Affairs taking a major step to expand health care access for veterans through the PACT Act. And now all veterans as far back as Vietnam exposed to burn pits and other toxic substances can immediately apply for that treatment. Yeah, this is a big change because the process was originally supposed to be rolled out over the course of nearly a decade. Here's Monique John in Fayetteville with more. Several vets I talked to here at the VFW 6018 in Fayetteville say they're excited about the PACT Act's expansion. Up until this point, only a small population of the total eligible vets could apply, with those benefits slowly rolling out to the larger population of everyone qualified to receive them up until 2032. But some veterans say they have reservations. Veteran Rita McMillan says she praised President Biden for signing the PACT Act into law back in 2022 and that it's been a major form of support for her cousin who started serving in Vietnam. But she says the VA needs to do more to publicize its benefits for burn pit exposure. A lot of veterans are still unaware of the benefits that they can have. Otis Cuffey, who served in Afghanistan and Iraq, also applied for benefits. But he says he's worried about how long it will take to receive treatment. He's also concerned that he won't receive disability if his ailments can't directly be connected to his burn pit exposure. They need to come on and take care of us. We took care of them. Let's take care of us. The VA does list more than 20 conditions and service locations that veterans can automatically receive treatments for. Gail Curtin of the Fayetteville NCVA Coastal Healthcare System says the VA has been working since last year to ditch its original nearly decade-long phase-in plan to accelerate the rollout. She says now as many as 40,000 veterans in the Fayetteville VA system alone could be able to apply for PACT Act benefits right away. And one of the things that we're aggressively working on is reaching out and making sure that we continue to work very hard to hire the men and women who are going to continue to take care of our veterans for years. To in Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.